key to it all is just putting the kids first and, you know, making sure that we have our lines of communication open. Cheyenne and Zach, let me start with you. What are you most excited for fans to, to see um, this upcoming second half of the season? I think we definitely showcase like our co-parenting a lot more this season and how we all make this work and rely on each other. I feel like it's cool to see even when, you know, two are going through a hard time, how the other two show up for them. And I just want to see how it plays out. It has its ups and downs. There's definitely yeah. a challenge. But I think the key to it all is just putting the kids first and, you know, making sure that we have our lines of communication open. We definitely go through rough patches and moments and we have to all check each other in a respectful way. We have a lot of check-ins where the four of us will get together and just lay everything out on the table, different topics, ideas, conversations we have with Ryder at our house. How do you guys handle these conversations at your house? And I feel like we're just trying to learn from each other and do the best we can for all of the kids. Corey and um, Corey getting ready for his daughter's surgery. How is she doing? I know this was filmed obviously a few months ago, but how is she doing now? She's good. She's strong. She's healthy. She has a little fiery personality. It's really funny to watch her and watch her interaction with her siblings. And, you know, it's it's good to say, like, she's she's good. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely a rough uh, few months, and it was rough to watch Corey and Taylor go through it. I've never seen Corey like that. I feel like he's known to have such an outgoing and, like, strong, bubbly, loud personality. and this was like the complete opposite. It was, we we're looking at each other like, what do we do? Like, mm -hmm. it was scary to watch. 